Hi everyone, this is Matt from Triple Threat Productions here with another Final Cut Pro X tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import your footage. The first thing you want to do is create what Final Cut Pro X calls an event. It's sort of like a folder that stores all of your footage and the files associated with your project. Over in the top left here, you can see are the events. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new event. In order to create a new event, you're going to right click on the hard drive in which you want your project to be. You can use an external drive. Right now, I'm simply working off of my internal drive. So I'm going to right click that and click new event. For this, I'm going to name it FCP tutorial and then you can see right here is an option to import your files. You can either import files you already have on the folder or you can import directly from the camera. So you're going to click this, then this window is going to come up. Here is the browser in which you can navigate to where your files are. I recommend putting all the files you want to use into one folder before importing everything because it's just easier to locate everything. It keeps things organized and that way you're not going to different drives and folders and trying to find things. It can save you a lot of time, especially if you're working off of different drives or multiple people are working with you on different computers. It's easier to have everything in one place because if you don't, you're going to open a project later and maybe find that you're missing a file. So I recommend putting it all in one place. There are going to be a few options down here. One of the options is to copy the files to the Final Cut Events folder. Now Final Cut Pro has what it calls the Final Cut Events folder. What this does is it organizes all of your media into that folder. So you don't need to create your own folder because Final Cut Pro X organizes it all automatically. Now say you don't have all your footage already organized into one folder and you might be adding things later or you're just not sure what music you want yet or you don't have all the graphics yet or maybe you are connected to someone else's computer or you're borrowing someone else's drive that you can't use later then this saves some time because all the files you import will be copied to this folder so it will automatically organize everything for you it's kind of like the same option in iTunes in which you can copy your music when importing it and that way if say you delete the file later it won't matter because everything will be stored in one place if you have everything organized anyway and you're planning on continuing to work off the drive then you don't need to do it because it saves space especially if you have a lot of footage then I don't recommend copying all the files because it's just going to take up a lot of space and it's going to take longer to copy everything but for things like graphics and music and files that you might not be keeping forever I recommend copying them to the folder it makes it easy to keep everything organized so you don't have to relink your files later if you accidentally delete them or change drives now this option to import folders as keyword collections is another thing that I recommend doing. Say you have your folders organized by camera or angle such as you might have a folder labeled 6D or 5D or you could have things labeled as b-roll interview and you want to be able to keep your footage separate. When you have this option selected it will take the folder name and separate it into what Final Cut Pro calls keyword collections which are sort of like the bins in Final Cut Pro 7. It's just a way of keeping things organized. 